don't know if this fits anymore. Hi you guys, it's Ariel. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. It is early Saturday morning here in Paris and I am stressed because I have to be on a train to the Alps in the next few hours and I have absolutely nothing packed, nothing. So I thought it'd be fun to do that with you guys this morning. Another element that's adding, I don't wanna say stress because I'm not stressed about it, but excitement is that this is the first time that I'm gonna be meeting my boyfriend's family. We are doing this ski trip all together and not only is it the first time that I'm meeting them, but we will be together for the full week, so seven days. Let me show you guys what I've laid out and what I think I'm gonna be packing and bringing on this trip. Okay, so this is everything that I have laid out. Over here we have makeup, skincare, hair products. I have my sweaters that I want to take, bathing suits, going out outfits, winter gear, kitchen gear. Now what's overwhelming about this is that it looks like a lot and it definitely is a lot. And my luggage space I think is not going to fit it all. Let me show you. So I'm going to be bringing this one big suitcase and then I have my hiking backpack as well. This is from Ospray. And it's a 36 liter. Normally when I travel, like when I go back home to Canada for example, I really don't need a lot of luggage space. My last trip actually to Canada, I did with a carry-on because I was so worried that they would lose my luggage. But because we're going to the mountains, a winter and snowy destination where it's gonna be about between negative 10 and negative 20, I have to pack a lot of bulkier things like my snowsuit and my big wool sweaters and my big socks and winter boots. So yeah, I'm definitely skeptical of how I'm gonna fit all this in just two pieces of luggage. So the first part and arguably the most important set of things that I have to bring on this trip is my winter gear. Over here I have all of the outfits that I'm going to wear under my snowsuit. They consist mostly of sports bras, uh, turtlenecks, and leggings or just straight up full body cat suits. And just for reference, this is the one piece snowsuit that I'll be skiing in. So all those outfits will go under this snowsuit. I'm definitely an overpacker when it comes to socks. I have 11 pairs of wool ski socks that I'm going to be bringing. And here I have all the accessories that I plan on bringing. I have two headbands. I have two sets of mitts. One for skiing. These ones are super, super warm. And I have some neck warmers. I've actually never used these before, but my boyfriend, who is a pretty good skier, suggested that I grab some before we head off. Because I think it'll be pretty cold at the mountain top. So basically, this goes around your neck like this. Ooh, chic. And then at the back, there's a drawstring um, to tighten it so it doesn't fall down. And then on top of this, I'll have my helmet. This is so hot. <laughs> I'm also gonna wear my North Face puffer on the train, just because when we're not skiing, if we go on a little walk or a hike, or if we go into the village or the town, it would be good to not have to walk around in a full body one piece snowsuit. I actually bought this coat yesterday specifically for this trip because the only other winter coat I have is like my long green wool dress coat and I didn't think that would keep me warm enough in the mountains. So I got this down filled puffer jacket. I think it's giving very Gen X. I sent a picture to my best friend and she was like, you look 16. Um, but yeah, it's just to be a little cozy, a little comfy when I'm walking around and not in the mountains. I've also planned to wear this outfit on the train. It's just jeans and a sweater, but this sweater is super special because actually my boyfriend got this for me for Christmas. He bought me this sweater and then he had his mom um, sew a heart onto the side of it. So yeah, I thought I would wear it for the very first time meeting her to show her how much I appreciate it. I have a lot of tech stuff and chargers that I need to bring, including this tripod. <laughs> I'm gonna be vlogging this trip, so you guys have that to look forward to as well. I also have a few groceries that I'm gonna be bringing. I have my French press coffee machine, coffee grinds and cream, so I can make coffee for everyone in the morning. And I also have peanut butter, which I love to eat for breakfast. I'm also gonna be bringing these maple candies from Laura Secor. And this ice wine from Reef Estates. Mm. 
very fancy. Both of those treats I actually brought back with me to France for my last trip in Canada, and this was before I had ever really known Jean. Even though I don't know who I'm going to be giving these gifts to in the moment when I buy them, I like to make sure I have a little piece of Canadian culture on hand to share with really special people that I meet, whether that's boyfriends or friends who come from different countries and different cultures. It's just nice to be able to share that with people, and who doesn't love a good bottle of wine? So yeah, I'm gonna give the ice wine and the candies to Jean's parents, and hopefully we can all just enjoy a little cheers once we get there. Over here, I have my winter boots. I think I'm gonna wear my combat boots, and then I'm deciding between these two pairs of Blundstones. These are my newer pair that I don't really want to ruin, and these ones are really old. They're like ripped and definitely not waterproof anymore. The reason I'm hesitating is because I would rather bring my black ones. They're newer, they look a little bit dressier, and they definitely still have some waterproof protection on them. But we're gonna be doing things like hiking and going snowshoeing, and I don't really want to ruin a relatively brand new pair of Blundstones, so I think I'm gonna end up taking the brown ones, which are not in great condition. We'll see, we'll see how much space I have in my luggage. These are all of the sweaters I wish I could bring with me. Some of them, like these two, are a little bit dressier, but these ones, for example, are full wool, so they'll keep me super warm. And here I have another big oversized sweater, I have a wool cardigan, and just some navy blue pullovers. Like for the boots, it's really just going to depend on how much suitcase space I have at the end of this. I mean, I definitely prioritize, I think, the wool sweaters because those will keep me the warmest. But I do want to have some nice dresser sweaters if we have dinner together or if we go out for dinner, go into the town. I do want to have like dressy and also casual looks. Speaking of dressy and casual looks, here I have six outfits that I was thinking of bringing, which I definitely need to narrow down to two. Even though most of the time we'll be doing sporty activities like skiing, snowshoeing, hiking, I want to make sure I have some dressier clothes for when we do go into town and we probably will end up going to a restaurant at least once. So I want to make sure I have a nice outfit for that. Most of these outfits you guys have probably already seen me in. This leather skirt and cashmere sweater I wore on my trip to Copenhagen in that vlog. I also wore this in Copenhagen in that vlog. This was the outfit I wore to my housewarming party and this is a really nice wool sweater that goes on top of this satin slip dress. So I actually think that's a really good option. This is what I wore in my Dior vlog, this fancy tulle blouse with my shorts. This outfit down here I'm a little bit more hesitant on because um, it requires heels. Which A, means another pair of shoes that I have to pack in my suitcase, and B, Jean is actually a tiny bit shorter than me, so I don't really want to add extra height to a look that I'm going to be wearing out to dinner with him and his family. Not that our height difference matters to me in any way, but I'm just not sure that's the vibe that I'm going for on this trip. But yeah, it's these wide leg white jeans with heels and a bodysuit and this blazer. And then over here as well, I just have black jeans and a black bodysuit, which I would wear with a blazer or a sweater. We're also very lucky because the chalet we booked actually has a sauna and a hammam and a hot tub. So I also have some bathing suits that I need to bring with me. These are the four suits I was thinking of bringing. I have a black one piece, this blue two piece, which is a throwback to Victoria's Secret bathing suits. If you guys remember that one, it was so popular a while ago. This is just a strapless two-piece, and this as well is a two-piece red suit, which I wear all the time, as well as a little bikini bag. What I realized packing for this trip is that I have not bought a bathing suit in six years. The blue bathing suit, for example, like I said, was from Victoria's Secret. I bought that maybe almost a decade ago in high school. I'm a little bit bummed by the bathing suits I'm bringing, to be honest. Because I bought them so long ago, they don't really fit my body as it is today. So they're not the most flattering. I really did try to go out and buy a bathing suit for this trip, but it's winter and no shops in Paris are selling summer clothing, let alone bathing suits. So yeah, we're gonna make do with what we have. I'm sure it'll be fine, to be honest, but yeah. And I also have to bring this massive towel as well. Uh, because apparently the towels in the sauna area are really small. That is it for clothing, shoes, and winter gear. The last few categories of stuff I need to pack are skincare, makeup, and hair products. I've laid it all out here on my island, but it honestly scares me to think about how much stuff I need to pack. 
The problem is that when you're going somewhere for a week, you still want to have things like your face wash and your serums and your sunscreens and your shampoos and all that kind of stuff. And I am not a huge fan of travel containers. I think they're pretty wasteful because they're so hard to clean and they always end up leaking. So I normally just bring the full size containers of everything I have. But like you can see, it's a lot. We have teeth stuff, my retainer, face wash, face cream, body cream, makeup remover here, which is gonna run out. So I also have these backup wipes. Then I have my makeup, so sunscreen, concealer, some lipsticks, some Vaseline, my eyeshadow palette, some mineral powder, contour, blush, mascara, sunscreen, because even if it's cold on the Alps, it is still sunny, shampoo, nail polish, and all of my hair stuff. This is the little device I used for my leave-in curls at night. Just some cute little hair accessories I thought I might want if I want to take pictures, and then just some simple pieces of jewelry. We're making good time, let's pack all this up. This snowsuit easily takes up 20% of all the luggage space. This is just socks. Okay, so we're not doing too shabby. We have half the suitcase completely filled. This is what it looks like. We have our few groceries. I wrapped the peanut butter in plastic just in case it breaks. My boots are also in plastic. And then in here we have my snowsuit, all of my winter gear, and also my bathing suit and goggles. Next, I'm gonna add in my essential sweaters and all of my skin and hair care stuff because that is arguably the second most important. For sweaters, these are my first picks because these are my pajamas and comfy clothes for after we ski. Then I have my wool sweater, wool cardigan, and the pink sweater. I think it'd be nice to add a pop of color to my wardrobe, which is looking pretty blah at the moment. My camera battery died, so we're switching to iPhone. So I would say we're about 80% full. I have a base layer of sweaters and then on top I have all of my liquid and makeup and hair products. Anything that has a risk of spilling I've wrapped in a plastic bag. My essential makeup is not going in my suitcase. I put it in this little travel bag and I'm gonna throw that in my backpack. And I also have my retainer that's gonna go in my backpack. The thing about the cold is that I don't like it. So I think I'll really appreciate being able to walk around after a cold day on the mountain in my fluffy slippers. Okay, cross your fingers. Woo! I didn't even have to sit on it. I have to fit my laptop, my tech, my towel, my going out outfits, and maybe a few more sweaters. Okay, I'm gonna go with the purple sweater dress, the pleather and the cashmere sweater set with my belt, as well as the wool sweater and the satin dress. I left the hood. I'm gonna put my chargers here and my sunglasses and the candies up top. Two hours later, we're done. I've got my suitcase, my backpack ready, the clothes I'm gonna change into, and we still have time to spare before the train, which is great. Okay, honestly, it's a lot. The suitcase is jam-packed. It's like busting at the seams, and the backpack is super heavy. And then hopefully I can get away with carrying this little tote bag with the coffee machine. Voila, voila. Jean is on his way and he gets the final say in terms of the volume of my luggage. Uh, and that's because we are taking the train to Grenoble and then from there, his parents are gonna pick us up in their car and drive us up to where we're skiing. So yeah, hopefully there's room for me and my massive bags. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video on the mountains.